Okay, um, so these are the isomeric xylenes. Uh, you can see they're all three disubstituted benzene rings, right? Two methyl groups, so they're all isomers of each other, right? So, um, structural isomers. Uh, if you want to um, look, though, you all you should notice that, of course, they're all different compounds, right? Because their structure is different. That's the structural isomer, right? Um, so these disubstituted benzenes, they all have different names. They're all called, in fact, this one, since it's two methyl groups, they're all called xylenes, okay? But the position of the two uh, substituted groups on the ring uh, describes <coughs> more of the name, okay? So um, the name, if you've got uh, the substituents in the one, two position, is called um, ortho. So this would be orthoxylene. If you've got it in the one, two, three position, it's called meta. So this is metaxylene. Another, uh, you could also call this oxylene or mxylene. Okay. Um, and if you've got them across from each other or in the one, four position, so we call that para. So, you could call it paraxylene or ezyl. And this one, camzyl. And this one, O. Oh. These are, you'll usually see them italicized, the orthomeric pair. Okay. So, disubstituted, you want to remember orthomeric pair. Okay? Anybody? Anybody got any questions on that?